Hi all. In this video, we'll talk about some bad practices regarding if-else and how we can refactor them. These principles apply to every programming language, whether it's C++, Python, or JavaScript. But we, in this particular tutorial, we would use TypeScript as an example. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel because it motivates me to make more videos. Okay, so there's a bunch of things we will discuss. Um, first of all is nesting. So we have got this example here where we have two um, variables, product and payment and you can see that there's a nested structure going on and it's right now the deepest nesting level is three so you know there is three levels of uh, nesting here but you can if the conditions are complex there may be you know five levels of nesting or six levels of nesting and that wouldn't be a uh, very nice code it would be difficult to understand and you know, basically it would be spaghetti code so there is a way in which we can refactor it and that is known as guard clause so the concept of guard clause is that we would run the else per, uh, whatever is in the else first so that this if block is um, you know, reduced as well and we'll see in a bit how we can do that so first of all i will say that if not product is in stock then return you know whatever is in else so for this particular if I am inverting the condition so in this case else would run obviously so I'm saying if not product is in stock then return product not in stock so what now what happens is I am eliminating this and also eliminating this because I am checking the not condition first and obviously when I'm checking the not condition first the next line would be you know checking this basically so now I'll say if I'll again check else, I'll say if not is payment made, then return, I'll copy this. So now this eliminates this else and this if as well. And now I can, you know, check this particular condition. I can say if payment dot price is not equal to product dot price then return you know whatever is in else so in this case it's price mismatch um so this eliminates this if and this else as well and now i can basically copy this and paste it here so now that deep level of nesting has been removed and it was also you know a lot of number of lines like 10 something and now it has been reduced to four lines and also it's much more simpler to understand any new dev who would come to this function would know that if product isn't in stock i should return this if it hasn't been made i will return this if price is not equal i will return this otherwise it will return this it's super easy to debug and super easy to understand cool so next thing is boolean assign um i've seen a lot of devs do this where they have a variable let's say you know in this case age and a boolean variable and they're saying you know based on some condition like in this case age is equal to if the age is greater than 18 that um, if it's greater than 18 oh that's uh, yeah if it's greater than 18 then is result should be true otherwise false and they've used any else for it but in this case because it's a boolean value based off of this condition i can just do this yeah there's literally no reason of you know using any else because i could just use the condition here and uh, if in the case where it was inverted then i could have done this so there was no need of efforts in this case then decomposing um this is a simple condition where i'm saying if is patient and age greater than 18 but there can be a case where uh, the condition is very long so in that particular case you should decompose this condition into multiple variables so that it is easy to understand what is happening and what is going on so this condition is not so complex but i'm you know just giving an idea so i can say is adult age greater than 18 so i can you know extract this into a separate variable now this kind of becomes more simple now you know it says if is patient and is adult then it should get that of a patient it has become uh, slightly simpler but if i want to make it even more simple based on you know um, um, is I can do this should get data for patient is equal to 
this and I can place the variable here again personal preference this condition was very simple but if you have a condition which is very long and has a lot of ors and ands it is better to extract or decompose that condition into multiple variables so that it is easier to understand then no else um, there are a lot of cases in which you don't really need an else because at the end of the day uh, if, if you know in any language if else introduces a level of nesting so in this case i can just say if is patient then return this function and you know i can just eliminate the else so if is patient is true then it would obviously return so it would never get to here so there is no need of me using an else um, and if it's false it would you know uh, run this code just like an else would so there was no need of an else because else was introducing a level of nesting which you know i didn't really need so another thing um we should try to use an object map whenever we have a situation like this so we have a function get salary from designation so i'm saying if designation is equal to junior software engineer then return twenty thousand senior software engineer 60 thousand tech lead eighty thousand so i'm basically kind of mapping designation to the salary and this is not really a uh, dynamic way of doing this and not a better way of doing this a better way of doing this would be to create an object so i would say const um designation to salary map and i will basically copy this designation as a key and then assign the value and then let's me copy and paste it two more times here i'll say senior software engineer this would become 60,000. This would become tech lead and 80,000. And I would just do return designation to salary map designation. So, first of all, um, it basically makes the mapping look um, a lot better because now I can literally see junior software engineer 20,000, senior software engineer 60,000, etc. tied by the side, you know. And I'm not doing this equality thing again and again. I'm not returning again and again. So it makes it simpler. Also, um, in this case, this this is uh, this comparison or mapping is static. So I know that if it's a junior software engineer, it's 20,000, senior software engineer 60,000, etc. But this mapping can maybe you know this mapping is coming from a database, and you know there are multiple more roles and multiple more salaries. I won't be able to. You know make the fls then obviously uh, i would only be able to make the fls statically so a better way of doing this is all all um, all the time an object or a map you know you can use a javascript map as well or you know in any other language where the key is whatever uh, you know you want to check for and the value is whatever value you want to give against that particular key so this is a much better way of doing this you can also dynamically create a map or object then ternary sign also have people have seen people doing this um where i am using an if else to uh, assign a value to a particular variable i can just do this years of experience um, is greater than three then it should be senior software engineer otherwise junior software engineer this is much more simpler also you know it's now in one line it has formatted into three lines for some reason but uh, you know it's much more simpler than having an else there was no need for it and then finally another thing um in this particular case the patient variable can be a patient or undefined so that is why you know maybe this is some code which actually needs the patient and you know i don't want to throw an error or something so basically i have used an if so i'm saying if there is a patient then run this particular patient code but i could get away with it using a guard clause just like before in case of nesting i can say if not patient then return and i can get rid of this if so if there would be no patient it would just return and now i can you know just write the code for the cases in which i expect a patient without any level of nesting so this was a tutorial for um best practices or um, getting away from bad practices and if else um, some are personal preferences 
and you know some are actually bad practices like nested if else etc and you can pick and choose of on um, which things you want to do and which things you want to skip so uh, if you like the tutorial like the video and comment down below if you have any requests as well you can comment down below and i'll try to make it as always like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye